Hi, welcome to a tutorial series on how to make VTubers from scratch in Blender and Unreal 5. So uh, throughout this course, we're gonna be talking about a whole bunch of different concepts, uh, a whole bunch of different techniques and skills ranging from programming to 3D to rigging to all kinds of stuff. So this comprehensive guide should serve as a way for you to achieve uh, an effect kind of like you're seeing right here, kind of like what I'm I'm doing now as my avatar. But to put it simply, we're gonna be making an avatar from scratch. We're gonna be importing that avatar into Unreal, hooking it up with all sorts of motion capture and facial solvers, and then we're gonna stream with it. And it's gonna be super fun. I'm gonna try and be thorough without being too technical. I'm gonna do my best to go slow, one step at a time, and it'll be really exciting. So let's talk about what we're gonna cover in this course. In this course, we'll build a model from scratch in Blender entirely from the ground up. We'll import the model into Unreal as a different skeletal mesh and explore the different editors Unreal uses to process skeletal meshes. We'll hook up Live Link Face from an iPhone for facial capture and talk about using certain customizations for getting more exaggerated faces at specific points of expression. We'll talk about using Anim Blueprints as well as using Control Rig to link up our animations with motion capture. We'll explore a number of different systems for body performance capture and talk about the pros and cons between the different styles of mocap. Specifically, we'll talk about the difference between desk setups and full body motion capture, as well as the difference between passive optical capture and active magnetometer-based motion capture, and why you'd want to use what based on your budget. We'll integrate this into a VTuber space in Unreal and we'll program a modular camera system that we can trigger whenever we press a button. So to put it simply, we're going to be making an avatar from scratch in Blender. We're going to be importing that avatar into Unreal, hooking it up with all sorts of motion capture and facial solvers, and then we're going to stream with it. I'll just say briefly, like the reason we want to do all this stuff in Blender and Unreal is because we want a character that we have full control over. So we don't want to rely on external programs that might have to get patched or something else later. Uh, we're doing this as programmers, as 3D artists, as people who are trying to create something really intentional. If that sounds scary, I promise you the process for doing something like this will be enthralling and will help you feel like you've not only built a VTuber that you, you like that represents you, but also uh, puts you in the front seat of how that VTuber looks and behaves. I'm not interested in just creating another VTuber for people to look at. There's so many other VTubers out there. The people I look up to that are creating great work right now are artists like Teflon Sega, Code Miko, Citizen Meta One, and other folks that are leveraging the technology that we have to create unique experiences for their audience. Some of them are completely blurring the line on what a VTuber or an avatar actually is but they have really strong ideas about their content, so it doesn't matter. I wanna use the same tools these artists use to build these experiences. We're gonna do it ourselves, which is gonna be a little scary because it's new, but it's gonna be fantastic because we will be able to create stuff intentionally. I'm thinking that's maybe another word for being overly controlling, but I'm not sure about that. <laughs> It's important to me with any project that we need to begin with the end in mind. Before any kind of project, I need to know what I'm trying to achieve. We need to know what we want, otherwise we're just hoping to find something cool. Sometimes we might start working and eventually find what we're looking for, but that's not too reliable. In order to do this, it's important to make a list of our requirements. So what do we require on a build like this? So we need a simple VTuber that we can create quickly. We don't want to spend years on this, making the coolest looking VTuber ever. We want a simple one that's easy to apply. Uh, we want something stylized that looks consistent with a specific look. For me, that's going to be a character that kind of looks like me so that it all matches when we put it together. Quick note, if you're already comfortable with Blender, you can follow this and do what you like when it comes to certain stylistic choices. You can definitely do your own thing and follow this course for the knowledge that it imparts about the workflows between Blender and Unreal. If you're not, this would be a great intro to Blender as well. We're gonna be doing some very basic Blender stuff. And even if you're coming into this with zero experience, this is still gonna be awesome for you. I really think that this style looks good, but also it's one of the simplest character animation styles you could achieve in Blender. You won't pull your hair out. We're not gonna be rigging eyeballs. We're not gonna be doing crazy stuff. We want something that's simple and like emotionally effective. We want like a happy face and we wanna uh, look at me. Don't I look happy? Only psychopaths ask whether or not they look happy. 
<laughs> uh, we're gonna create an Apple AR kit blend shape based facial system. We're not going to make all of the blend shapes and that's fine. We're gonna use the ones that are most useful for creating a, a character like this. That's what I'm using now with my character. So all of my mouth movement, all of my blinks, all of my eyebrows, that's all coming from the Apple AR kit system. Personally, if I'm gonna make a series, I'm gonna make a course, I'm gonna make it be like a really good use of my time because I have a lot of projects going on. The best thing I can do is create a character that will appear in other media. So I'm not gonna talk too much about our plans for the future, but we're gonna be making a model that's really exciting because she's going to appear in a lot of uh, future projects. I'm going to be modeling someone who's uh, may or may not be very, very, very special to me. So it's important to me that I get this one right. You may be wondering why we're using Unreal if we're just gonna build VTubers. I have a good answer for that too. A lot of existing VTubers are using Unity and other smaller programs that I've also seen used really well. If you're liking what you've got right now, that's great. However, Unreal offers some unique advantages. Because we'll be doing all of this in Unreal 5, we can use their sweet new game features, like Lumen, their screen space illumination system. Above me is this huge softbox that I use to get this super flat, nice lighting, and you don't see that in game engines very often. It's already a great place to put all our 3D models, but the lighting just puts it that much more in that aesthetic sweet spot. Unreal also will give us a full suite of tools to do whatever we want with our avatar. We can record our animation, convert it into keyframes, edit those animations, and even create entire films in Unreal. There are already a lot of great VTuber tools, but most of them aren't very modular. And by the time you're done here, you'll have also learned really important game development skills too, and that's a huge deal. If you make something really cool, first off, send it to me, and then second, make sure it's on your resume. We're gonna do some really cool stuff with some really in-demand skills. So we're going to start in Blender. Now, why Blender? If you already know about Blender, this is going to come as no surprise. But Blender is totally free. It's an incredible program. It's got so many features. If you've never used a 3D modeler before, you might as well start in Blender, in my opinion, because unless you're going to a very specific application where you need to know the industry standards like Maya for animation or Substance for texturing or something like that, this is a great way to get started with modeling and especially for an application like this, it's gonna let us make a VTuber really fast. It's gonna allow us to move pretty quickly. You can run Blender on a potato. You can run it on the biggest rig that you can get your hands on. But the last reason we use, we're gonna use Blender is because it's the program I already know how to use. And that's a big thing here. If you already know Cinema 4D, if you already know Maya, if you're already used to using all of those programs, go with those. So before we go any further, let's take our first step. We're gonna set up a file structure. Now we may change it as things go, but for now, I know we're gonna need a couple folders. We're gonna wanna set up a file folder in a specific way that will serve us well throughout the project. Go ahead and make a folder and then fill it with these subfolders. You're gonna want one called Blender, one called References, one called Textures, and one called FBX. We may make more as we go along. Lastly, if you need help on your VTuber journey, join our Discord server. Even before I made this video series, there's already an amazing foundation of animators, programmers, and game devs building super unique VTuber projects in Unreal on our server. We spend a ton of time there sharing what we know about Unreal and helping people get where they need to go. There are people even more experienced than I am, and it's a huge privilege to be there. I'll keep dropping these over the coming weeks, so feel free to subscribe to get updates as we build this model. 